Father God, we glorify you today. We thank you, O oh God, that your spirit is even here at the waterfront with us, O oh God. We thank you, Father God, for the families, O oh God, that even have gathered here today. Father God, now we ask in the name of Jesus, God, that you would go through this city of Camden, O oh God. Father God, you see the dysfunction in the families, O oh God. And God, we ask right now, God, that you begin to mend the broken hearts, O oh God. Mend the broken pieces, O oh God. Restore and rejuvenate the man and the wife, O oh God. We ask, O oh God, that you would bring the fathers back into the home, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, O oh God, that we're calling them forth now. They are the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. Oh God, you're causing them to be the lender and not the borrower, oh God. You're causing them to be the provider in the home, oh God, and to be the the head over the home, oh God. Father God, call forth your wife, your, your mother, oh God. In the name of Jesus, call her back to her place of prayer. Call her back to her place of being the help me, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that you're calling her back to be the mother that nurtures, oh God, and instills morals and values, oh God, in the children. God, we thank you, oh God, that you're taking the mother off the street and at the club, oh God. God, we thank you, oh God, that you're bringing her back in the home, God, that she would be a wise woman, oh God, and build her home in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for the children, oh God, Father, that they're reared in your word, oh God. We thank you that your word, oh God, is being preached, oh God, in the church, oh God, that the children, oh God, would absorb it like a sponge, oh God. We thank you, God, that they're growing in your word, that they're manifesting your word. Oh God, that they stand flat footed in the schools, oh God, that they would draw other children, oh God. We thank you even now, oh God, as you bring balance to the family. We thank you that you bring balance to the home. And God, we glorify you, for we know it is done. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's lift our hands and just give God just a great praise. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Come on, say it like you really mean it. Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Can we say it one more time? Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. I thank God for another day. How many of you are just glad that God has allowed you to come out another day to enjoy the sunshine? Hallelujah. I thank God that I can feel. Hallelujah. And I bless him for it. Hallelujah. We are a people that must continue to speak the word of God. We cannot be consumed by our environment, nor the devices of the enemy, nor his pitfalls. We must be a people that believe God's word and that will publish God's word across the land and the sea. We are people that believe God. Uh, hallelujah. We've walked the streets already. We've named it and we've claimed it. And I'm reminded of a story in Luke 10 uh, when the lawyer came to Jesus and asked Jesus, how do I have eternal life? Jesus said, love the Lord thy God uh, with all thy heart, uh, with all thy might, uh, and with all thy soul. Uh, here it is. Uh, and love your neighbor. Yes. Many times uh, we have church in the city and we go back to the suburbs. Uh, and we have the NIMBY mentality. Not in my backyard. But we must learn who our neighbors are. Yes. Hallelujah. The Bible speaks uh, how there was a man that journeyed from uh, Jerusalem to Jericho and he came upon thieves uh, who robbed him, uh, who beat him, uh, who stripped him. Uh, and the Bible says uh, he laid there, he was left to die. Uh, many of us uh, in the city uh, have been left to die. Uh, but thanks be to God uh, who gives us the victory. For the Bible says uh, that the religious leaders the Levite walk past him. The Bible says that the priest crossed the street so he didn't have to look on him. But here comes a Samaritan. Somebody who 
was least likely to be able to influence. The Bible says he had compassion. We need the compassion of Jesus Christ so that we will be good neighbors. Our brothers and our sisters, compassion is not just pity. Compassion is in action. You must be concerned. You must care. And you must be compelled to give Jesus Christ, who is the solution. Jesus is the only way. I don't care what the programs are. I don't care what the institutions are. If we don't have Jesus return to our homes, Jesus return to our schools, Jesus return to our community, it is all for naught. We must be a people that love our neighbors as we love ourselves. We don't want our people to perish. We don't want our people to be destroyed. And because we don't want our own families destroyed, we don't want our own people destroyed, then we must have a neighbor mentality that say, you are my neighbor. Amen. And I care about you. We must have, like the Samaritan, the compassion to do something. Compassion is an action. And today there was an action. We reach cross cities. Hallelujah. We reach cross cultures. And today we believe God that this work was not in vain. That the blood of Jesus that still has all power. Power to save. Power to deliver. Power to set free. We believe God for the souls that will be saved. The souls that have been saved because of the compassion of many that thought it not robbery to have an action. We cannot just care. We cannot just be concerned. But we must be compelled to preach the gospel of Jesus, the Christ. God bless you.